As anyone who's ever known me will know, Batman v Superman is a bit of a, a touchy subject for me. So when they finally aired the final trailer for it, they call it the final trailer, but we know they're going to have TV spots, we're going to have clips from the actual movie, but this is the final trailer that they've just released. I've watched it twice now to really understand it. At first I was like, whoa, this sounds, this looks really interesting. The music is like, da 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 ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da Actually, that's not the, uh, that's not that music. That is another type of music. What is it? da 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 That's Iron Man. Sorry. But it has that sort of, same sort of music in there, which is really cool. Instead of like, you know, the, oh, sort of Hans Zimmer classic, cliche, actually not classic anymore. It's just a bit of a cliche now to have his sort of music in the trailer before we've seen that. We've seen that already, but for this trailer, it went really kind of like, yeah, this is so cool. And at first, I was thinking, yeah, this actually looks really cool. Like, I'm actually, I'm, I'm soul again. And then second viewing, I started to realize a few things, namely the, the shots in the movie. You <laughs> look, this may be an interesting, a very cool looking comic book movie, and maybe it might work. Maybe, maybe Batman and Superman fighting each other will actually, actually work. Like you'll actually see it and think. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. And you get to see Wonder Woman come in. You're like, yeah, they're uniting. You can see the Justice League really forming here. It's still directed by Zack Snyder. So we know we're going to get some really, really badly angled or badly framed or just badly shot shots. There's one shot where Wonder Woman, you know, is yeah, rising her head above a shield and then leaps in the air and it does and it does like this sort of like pan whip zoom sort of thing and I'm thinking I was sitting there thinking Ugh. it looks gross and I'm just thinking and that made me think this movie is not gonna look good. I can easily tell that this movie is gonna happen and it's gonna be like people are gonna watch it and go I think it really is will be like Man of Steel all over again. Not in the same sort of like ugh version of that Man of Steel was, but I think that it's going to come out and everyone's going to go uh, either, wow, that was awesome, or, Meh. or then it's going to be a small kernel of people who are going to go off way too far and go, that was the worst piece of crap I've ever, I've ever seen in my entire life. We know that will happen. That happens with every comic book movie. Trust me, I read comments. But with Batman v Superman, it's just going to be like Man of Steel all over again. Yes, we're going to see Ben Affleck as Batman. There's a scene in this trailer which I thought, that is cool. That looks like it's like a scene straight out of the comic book. That's something, like, I'm not a comic book fan, really. I've read some of the, the, the Batman comics. I've read The Killing Joke. I've read The Dark Knight Returns. And that's it. That's all the comic books I've, re I've read. And that was after I've seen the Dark Knight trilogy. So that's why I love the Dark Knight trilogy more than... You know any other comic books because I haven't seen the, I haven't read the comic books. I understand the the history of it. I understand the need to do those sorts of things right. But I love the Dark Knight trilogy because it's cinematic. I feel like Batman v Superman is more like Zack Snyder saying, "Okay, we've got the cinematic cinematic Batman. I just want to tell the badass Batman who you know is like pulled straight out of the comic, bam onto onto the screen, which he couldn't do back in 2005. You can do now because everyone's like different sort of mind." So for this, you see this scene where he comes in and beats all these guys up, and he's almost he almost has like all like superhuman strength. He's like p punching people in the face, and they're not just you know going down; they're flying through the air, crashing into other boxes and boxes and stuff like that. And he almost breaks a guy's neck, and I'm thinking like, "Whoa, that's cool!" And then the trailer goes on, and if you pause it at certain moments, you have that same sort of bad looking shot of like, you know, super slow motion or, or dodgy C CGI or just, uh, I just don't know. I, why, I don't, I'm personally, I'm just thinking, they shouldn't do this. I, I, I before the, when the first trailer came out, I thought, whoa, this looks really interesting. Then the second trailer came out and went, hmm. <laughs> and then I found out about Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor and not playing Lex Luthor really and only playing his son. And I was like, come on, please don't be crap. And now I've watched this trailer and now I'm just thinking, I, my thoughts haven't changed. In fact, they might have gotten slightly worse because now I'm thinking they shouldn't be doing this. Really what they should have done back in 2013 when they 
uh, you know, did Man of Steel and were planning this movie, they should have said, we're going to do Man of Steel 2, have like, you know, Brainiac or Toy Man or, or freaking whatever Superman villain you could pretty, pretty much come up with, who was in general Zod, just have him in the Man of, Man of Steel 2 film, then we're going to make a new Batman film with Ben Affleck as Batman, because I feel like Ben Affleck as Batman is going to be the best part of this movie, and the rest of it's going to be a whole load of just... So, that's my thoughts on Batman v Superman. Yeah, if you want to go watch the trailer... Do uh do it just to just to experience it. If you have watched the trailer, tell me what you think about it. I really want to know. Thanks for watching.